A surge in children's respiratory illnesses is pushing pediatric emergency departments toward capacity in some parts of our country. For more, on where we're joined by, by Dr. Timothy Quinn of Quinn Healthcare in Ridgeland. And Dr. Quinn, thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me. What respiratory illnesses are doctors seeing uh, a surge in so far? You know, I've been looking at reports from all over the United States earlier today, and a lot of these reports are indicating that a lot of these ICUs, these hospitals, these emergency rooms in different uh, states throughout the United States are being just overwhelmed with children coming in with multiple different types of upper respiratory tract infections to include infections that are initiated by the rhinovirus, uh, RSV, um, just overwhelmingly some children are getting the flu uh, some children are still getting COVID, but less than before but the combination of all these infections and these children getting sick is be beginning to look like a, another pandemic that's starting so we really have to get a handle on it right now dr quinn what do parents need to be on the lookout for caregivers well What's being advised is that parents really pay attention to what's going on. We have to understand that for the last two years plus, we've been following some really strict pandemic mitigative measures as far as wearing masks, social distancing, children uh, not coming together in school, a lot of in-home learning, but now we're back in school. We're not wearing masks. We're not washing hands. We're not following those pre or those uh, pandemic mitigative measures now our children are being exposed and they're vulnerable. Another thing to look at is the fact that during this time, a lot of children weren't exposed, not infected, and their immune systems were weakened. Now we're back out there and we're vulnerable and we just have to be on the lookout because what's going on is a lot of children are getting these respiratory illnesses. And doctor, could these illnesses lead to a more severe disease? Most definitely. What's being reported is we really have to look out for our very young children and children with uh, chronic medical conditions, especially children that might have lung or respiratory illnesses such as asthma or some type of lung disease. These are your most vulnerable population. And then we also cannot forget about our elderly, the immunocompromised uh, for, for multiple reasons. But the take home is, if you have a child and your child is starting to get sick, you know, first of all, you want to keep them out of school, especially if they have fever. And if they don't start to recover in a, in a, a speedy manner, go ahead and take them to their primary care provider so that they can be evaluated and tested to determine what's going on with that child and if they need some type of treatment so you can avoid your child going to the emergency room with a possible admission to the hospital. Well, with that, Dr. Quinn, are there preventive measures parents can take so their children don't become ill? Most definitely. I mean, one preventive measure is just hygiene, you know, teaching our children to wash their hands uh, if they're sneezing, you know, cover up, uh, stay informed with the schools, you know, know what's going on. If, 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 if they're going to a party on the weekend and a child might not be ill, you know, maybe the parents should advise that child not to come to the party and just limit exposure as much as possible. And if your child has not been vaccinated for coronavirus and or the flu, get your children vaccinated because that's a proven way that you could provide your child with that protection that's so needed during this time right now. Dr. Timothy Quinn, always good advice for us on a Friday. Thank you for your time. Hey, thank you for having me.